Miter Attack Series, Attack Navigator, local installation. All right, I'm gonna install this on my Kali Linux box. I, I want a local instance of Navigator that I can use offline when I need it, as I need it. So there's a couple things. There is a config JSON that comes with the installation. When you're using local assets, you need to configure it to point to the local assets versus trying to connect to the, the resource on the web. So there's some modifications that I've done here and I've actually copied this config file out. So whenever I dynamically install this on any asset, I don't have to worry about it. The other thing is I was getting errors uh, when deploying it in Docker and it was due to this node 16. I changed it to 12. It seemed to resolve the issue. Now, finally, I created a quick script just to allow myself to uh, deploy this anywhere I need. If you see an error around uh, the system limit for a number of watchers uh, has been reached, then you can run these two commands above. And then I go ahead and pull the uh, clone repository or clone the GitHub uh, repository for Attack Navigator, pull down the assets that I require, enterprise, mobile, and pre-attack. And then we walk through uh, just a comment here around making sure that you do uh, modify that config JSON file as I shown. And then we go ahead and um, copy in that config.json file. We copy in that Docker file that's modified uh, to the repository after we pull down the Git, and then we go ahead and deploy the Docker instance. So let's go ahead and run that script. Now this is just a reminder, if you get that error, go ahead and run those two commands at the bottom there. In our case, we've already done that. We're gonna go ahead and, and clone the attack navigator GitHub repository. And then we'll copy the config JSON, the Docker file that we've customly uh, modified. And it's gonna go ahead and start building that Docker instance. And this will take a bit of time. And that's about it. It's good to go. Automatically launched Chrome as well. We go Docker stats here. We can see that we do have a container running. And we can go ahead and start leveraging the tool locally on our asset. Pretty cool.